I want to have a look at how my stream looks because I haven't ever seen myself streaming at these sort of resolutions. Um, pop. Network error. No. There we go. Cool. Holy shit. Streaming. Streaming in decent resolution. Blowing my mind. First one on the NBN. Uh, so let people on the Twitter know. Streaming. Since I've been on my internet. Uh, come join me for some chill video editing. Editing about clouds. About waves and clouds. There we go, perfect. Ah, uh, right, well, it feels weird. I, yeah, haven't streamed in what feels like uh, an eternity, so. Anyway, Premiere, let's, what are we doing today? Well, uh, I'm working on a short video. I've been trying to film every weekend for the, for the month of July. I didn't get to last weekend or this previous weekend because it was too wet. It was pouring for most of it, so I couldn't go out and shoot. But um, my uncle, he's doing a monthly, it's kind of like an online, um, he was calling it a soiree where he shares a bunch of videos with people. He's a musician, so he shares a bunch of musicians' videos. He asked me to do something for it. I'm not a musician, but I do make videos that often deal with music. And I haven't made a time-lapse video in almost a year. So I wanted to make a nice, chill, relaxed, laid-back time-lapse video. So I wanted to record some time-lapse uh, video every, every weekend over the month of July. Didn't get to. Like I said, I got three weeks worth though, and um, we're going to be editing that to some ambient music from Freesound and uh, making a pretty chill video. So the thing about how I've been doing these in recent years is I've kind of become obsessed with the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, um, like this, but the big problem is YouTube fucking destroys it afterwards. So I'll be editing it 480p and then creating a second... 1080p container to put it in so when it uploads it can be rendered at a really high quality and uh, YouTube won't completely destroy it in theory. So anyway, there's my little 4x3 window, here's my chill music and uh, here are my three weekends worth of footage. So I'll actually be using Linux head first. There's some stuff in there that's going to be used in slow motion as well as uh, faster. Um, and then Rocky Creek Dam will be the middle, and then down here, Rock Valley will be the uh, final. So, yeah, anyway, let's get cracking. It's, it's kind of hard to, uh, with these sort of tracks, these ambient tracks, to get a solid rhythm for your edits. So usually I just try to find uh, the subtle changes in the, um, in the whatchamacallit. That's very, very knowledgeable that I'm talking about, obviously. Um, that's, that's really my that's in so anyway, here's our first four. So let's, what have we got here? We got, okay, that's a time lapse. Actually, these are all time lapses. What am I doing? The ones with the volume things on them are, are the ones we want to start with. So the other fun thing is working with uh, this scale is you get to size everything down. 
frame size things down that much. Scale to uh, set to frame size. Uh, do they both do the same thing? They do. Ah, oh, Okay, well, I just want... So the other thing is, uh, this this comp is at 24 frames a second. I've shot everything at, the, the, the shots at 60, so when I set them to 50%, they should look smoothly smooth still, they do. So it's a matter of finding the most interesting part throughout the, the clip. See these surfers up up here. It's just kind of annoying because the waves at the beginning. I guess it's like a good intro though. The other thing I should do is have a used folder. So once the shot has been used, like this one just has, it can go into the the used directory. Yeah, so running at normal speed, not that it, not that exciting. Pretty, pretty dull, pretty dull. But as soon as you put it in the slow motion. Surface, so we'll start with them about here. Just makes it that little bit more. Actually, you know what? I reckon this will be better as the opening shot and then cutting to that. The other thing I'm noticing is these harsh, these cuts are pretty, pretty harsh with this music. I kind of feel like I should have dissolves, which I don't really like using. I'm not much of a fan of dissolves, but you know, do what you gotta do, I suppose, to make things work. Is there a way at some point to crash against this rock? There? This is just a test. I would like to stream some video games at a later date. Nothing, nothing crazy, but you know, it would be. Uh... How long is that shot? Three and a half seconds. Uh, see, I kind of feel like. Once we get to the time lapse shots, so what's this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This shot. I know there was a couple of a couple of ways it hit here too, which was neat. somewhere. Now on top of this, actually 
Actually, you know what? That that's fine. Movement's okay. Yeah. This is my, my pelican I kept chasing. Now I got multiple shots of this bird. It's, it's probably no, that's a different one. I tried multiple times to get shots of this pelican, and he kept being a uh, cheeky bugger about it. So I gotta find the right one. Not that one. That one's fine. That one's also fine. Oh, never mind. It's going to help bring them down. Yep, so the key is probably something. You know what? I'm going to get some seagulls first. Like this guy here. This is looking all right. This little fella. Then you get the pelican. Where's this guy going? No, I shot shit. Then we got more seagulls. And then we have more seagulls. So really, they don't belong there yet. They're not exactly part of that story. Got to do it in the right order, man. Cutting from that, that means get rid of all of that. And now, next up are the time lapse shops, which clearly I don't have to remove any audio from because doing time lapse of audio would be dumb. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I am an animal. Alright, so position. Uh, here we am. So this shot is how long? 308. So the other thing I do is usually like these are already pretty short. Try to get them into the timing. Let's see how dull the color is. So this one, okay, here's the thing. You can see this this shot shakes around because of the wind. We obviously don't want too much of that, so we're going to use the warp. Stabilizer on there. I'm also going to shrink it down like that and get a bit of that walkway in there. And once this is stabilized, you can use a funky little, funky little trick to get it to where I want it to be. Just might take a minute because this is doing other stuff at the same time. There we are, stabilizing uh, nest. I can hear my computer going crazy. Do not need that. Two and nine. That's a quick one, right? So no, really. no, that's not two o nine. It's two nineteen.
That is a long road. It's a slight change. track here for this yeah there will be if I can get notifications every time something sells at work because of the app kind of frustrating excellent okay cool Okay, so from there, that takes us to that shot, which takes us to here, a little tiny bit, it was a windy day this day, it probably has a lot to do with it. Oh, wait, wait, of course. Let's have a look at this now. So you can see, I'm pointing up, up here, you can see the salt spray off the way is blown, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty, pretty neat. Little bit of 322. You can't really hear it in here, but it's pretty damn windy outside. So before I cut back to this shot, I should There's a lot of wind happening there. So while that's doing that thing, I can come. Uh, ooh, actually. You know what? You know what? What do we have? What if? And then we get a seagull here. Let's be fifty percent. Look at my. So the funny thing is, even though this is, I'm putting this into slow motion. I'm going to be shrinking the, the frame rate. There. Shot, so I'll get rid of it. Get the pelican in. Get this bird in, and then I can use that shot. So that'll be my next thing. Waves in, in half speed. Always a choice. Now 
Ja. You can actually see the exact same pelican I was filming. There he is there. Chilling, chilling out. Chilling. Now, these headphones I'm wearing, these are Meze Neos. Do not wear these when you're doing serious editing. Uh, I'm just because the I'm just cutting the music in this, so it's fine. But I have other headphones I usually use when I'm doing this work. Um, so coloured, so tainted, so bassy, not accurate at all. Very fun headphones, great for music and games and movies. Not great for editing. Uh, it does make a difference. Right, so now we are done with Linux head. Linux, Linux is done diddly on, which means next, step two, which was actually the first shoot, which was Rocky Creek Dam here. And then the final shoot was Rock Valley, which is this one here. So, yeah, yeah, this, will, this should work out pretty all right. But um, yeah, let's just see how this flows currently. Next. Track actually kind of reminds me of the um, cave music from uh, Elder Scrolls. <laughs> Got a feeling that this is not long enough. No, it's not. I'm gonna have to put a cut in there somewhere. Oof. Now this day when I shot this, it was thankfully not overly windy at all. Do. 
is this? 922. That's a lot. Frame blending, how's this going to look? matching up those peaks and valleys in the music also this needs to be that um, yeah I think that's a more interesting shot than one with the guy more than the long one? I think so, yep. Yeah, this one's kind of neat. Okay, so I guess that's on that side of it. Don't work. 321. I just want to get this nice little dip here, which is why I want it on that side. The problem is, when you do cut it into a different aspect ratio like this, I shoot the shots based on my eye, shooting in 16 by 9. Yeah, see, it looks different once you um, give it this treatment. So. There are definitely ups and downsides to uh, this one. Like, like with this one, I think. Can I see this? Uh, I guess it's not really that bad, is it? But if I move this over here, you miss most of the interesting shape, you know? It's a bit. Missing. It's missing. Man, I want to see the edge of the. Yeah. Off in the background there, off in the distance. It's got the same problem as before, it's too short. Four cars. And I eighteen. Okay. Frame blending. Hopefully after the post effects are added in, it won't be
Sadly, this is not my first time shooting in most of these locations. I really need some uh, new ones. I have some new tools on the way too, like a... Like a... Uh, well, not on the way already, but I'm looking at buying a... Uh, little time-lapse dolly that can sit on top of my tripod, which would be pretty cool. Be pretty neat. I think it'd be pretty neat. So this part was all shot at my parents' home. Oh, that bit where the sun comes through is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. 619 frame blending. This one is not. Get some amazing sunsets in my parents' place. Blending on, didn't I? No, I've got on this frame blend sampling, I need frame blending. on the end. Seven. And then this I can actually stretch out because it's so let's go on here. Put that post there on the side. Cool. Now, that's done. Black. Fade to black at the end. Dip black. Probably from about here. Alright. So take you on a journey. We go through some places. Let's let's rewatch.
to do is cross the first frame of it right here. So the keyframe, I want to set the keyframe here. I want it to move across like that. Basic stuff done. That's our edit. That's our edit. It's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Next. Next, next, next. I want an adjustment layer. 640 by 480. Yes, please. All over the top of this. So, first up, I want to fade that film a bit. Like maybe, maybe 20%. I also want to soften it a little bit, like maybe minus 10. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of a, a different... I've forgotten how to do this, but it's been a little while. I thought it was in here. I thought there was sharp, soften, sharpen. have any input lots for this particular camera sadly I can um got some like ugly shit but what I do want to do is tweak the temperature and make it all look a bit cooler Contrast, swiping faded, that kind of gives it like a aged look. I could have sworn. I could have sworn. Make the blacks a little bit dark. That way you know, faded. Um, the other thing I want to do is pull out the whites a little bit because they make Sky kind of disappear in some of these. The contrast, like here, like they're flashing. really what that does. Uh, nope. Nope. I hate just a little secondary. Nope. I see to learn how all this shit works. Vignette. Okay, let's give me a bunch of uh, errors. Interesting. That's new. So the next big thing here for the creative colors is for shadows, I want a slight blue tinge to them. And for the highlights, you want like a slight orange. The old blue and orange is pretty popular combo these days. You see it in stuff all the time. It just kind of helps things pop a little bit. And I'm also going to you do not want it to be very noticeable you want it to be like two just to soften it just to soften it up a little bit Thank you. 
X effect. Is it called strobe? No. Oh shit, I'm using the ages. Um, posterized time, that's the one. So now I can change the frame rate. So now it's a 24 frames a second video, setting it to 84 even with the smoothing. Well, it gives a very interesting effect. We can look choppy, yeah. So it's slowed down. You know what? I can get rid of post rocks time. It's, it's too much. So then I guess the next big thing will be if I go into assets and I go into uh, effects animations and cinematic green effects. I'm a big fan of the 70s. 70s one I have here. I think it's this one. Yeah. Might not even. Oh, that's not it. Must be multiply. Must be screen. Is that screen? No. I've forgotten what the actual thing. It's been so long since I've made one of these. Oh. Oh, I should still be able to. Yeah. Must be that plus. Capacity set to work. Make it noisy as all shit. And then you just kind of go lock, lock. Bum, bum, bum. Why are you copying in a cell layer some? Weird reason. Oh, because you already have one. I didn't realize. I had no idea. I guess it kind of makes sense. Someone at some point. That'll be better. clip I can probably that's right I wanted to get that pun out of there. Yes, 
so that sharpness is completely gone now, which is good. Um, yeah, even there. Well, I mean, what else is there to really do now other than put it into a bigger comp and blow it up and export it, I suppose. Not lots. So, um, that's going to do it for this test stream. I don't know what came in, but if you're watching this in post, thanks for watching this in post. I'll be very curious to see how this actually looks. Like I said, new internet. Um, down the road, I will be playing some games on here. I just wanted to do a test basically and working on this project seems like a good excuse for that so uh you know thanks for dropping in if you did thanks for watching and post if you did and um catch you next time you know and that will be good